All right, so for today's video, we have a, another unboxing. Now I have some Kinepec stuff here, and I have some Klein stuff in the back. Um, I think it's been a little while since we've, um, or at least since I've featured some Kinepex here on the channel. And I finally decided to pick up a few different things from them. And then I also picked up a new tool from them. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move those guys out of the way. And we'll take a look at these Klein tools first. So I did pick up a couple of these Klein laser levels. Uh, I have the compact rechargeable um, plane level and then the just the standard mini cross line laser level. I decided to pick them up. Now, I will say I have already unboxed these and used them, uh, but I did put them back in the box to uh, make a video. Um, so here they are. So we'll go ahead and get that big three plane one out of the way and we'll take a look at the mini, uh, the mini la laser level here first. And the box opens fairly easy. Um, it's fairly nice, uh, nice little, little, little box. Uh, and you do get a nice case that comes with the model um, so you can store your laser in there. Now the small or the compact one, um, the, the, le the laser level is battery operated. So you are going to have to keep a couple double A batteries on hand um, for this guy. And there's everything you see here in the packaging. Now, like I said, I already did open this up. So when you do get your laser level, there will be two double A batteries in there. Uh, and then there is the tool itself or the laser itself. And then you get a little information packet. Probably tells you all the warnings and stuff uh, about the tool. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that off to the side. And we'll take a look here at this level. Um, it has a lock and unlock. And then when you turn the turn it to unlock, your um, level turns on. Uh, and it does screw to the base, which is nice. Um, and the base is magnetic, which I do like. So if you had to stick this onto some metal... Uh, maybe you're hanging some for what I would use these for would be hanging ductwork or if we're hanging some threaded rod in the ceiling and we want to have them all in the same line or all in the same row. This is kind of where these guys come in handy. Um, so you can turn that plane on. Um, so that is nice. You can clamp it to a steel beam. And if you don't want to have um, it attached to this mount, um, you can just unscrew it here on the bottom and it comes right off. So it does come right off. So if you don't want this base on there, or if you have a tripod or something you want to mount this guy to, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, and then there at the bottom is where your two AA batteries will go. Um, it, like I said, it comes with two AA batteries when you get the kit. Generally, I don't use the AA batteries um, that come with these kits. Um, I just like to put it in my own batteries, but that is just me. So that is the compact laser level. Um, nice little piece, I will say. So I'll go ahead and put that guy back in the packaging, and then we'll open up the, um, the compact, um, plane laser level. So there is that guy. We'll set him off to the side, and we will bring in the larger laser level. Um, and for the price that you pay for these, um, it's actually not, uh, not terrible. Uh, for the price you pay, um, it will be nice to see how long these hold up in the future. Um, but this little guy right here, this little compact one, um, cost about uh, $70, give or take, depending on your location. Um, but generally $70 plus you're going to have to pay tax depending on where you are. And now this three-plane um, laser level um, that is rechargeable cost, I would say... It's about 160 to 170 depending on your location and depending on where you get it. I've seen prices vary between 160 and 170 for this guy. Um, we'll go ahead and open that up right there. And then there the laser level sits right there. And now it does come with, I believe this is a USB-C rechargeable um, charging cord. Now there is no block or anything to plug this guy into. So you are going to have to provide your own charging block. Um, to recharge this guy, but they do give you the cable, which is nice. And then again, you get the nice um, carrying case with the foam in there, so the laser stays protective. And then you got your informational packet there on the back. Uh, and then here is that laser level itself. It has all three planes, uh, which is nice. Um, and it does have that magnetic base and is also removable from the... Um, the little magnetic base. Uh, and then you lock and unlock it there. And unlike the other one, when you unlock this one... All that really happens is the light turns on at the top and you pick which plane you want. We're not going to get too much. We're not going to go too much into detail uh, about these laser planes. I'm going to probably use them a, a little bit more or a few more times. And then maybe I'll uh, do a video 
or an overview on what my thoughts are on them. Um, but like I said, for the price, I say they're very affordable. Uh, considering some laser levels out there, depending on who you go with, can cost upwards of five hundred or more dollars. Um, so if you're starting off in the in, you know in the trades and you want some laser levels that are cheap and affordable, um, check out the clients. I'll let you guys probably know how they are in a future video. So that is it for the client tools that I have acquired. Now we'll get into some of the Knipex pliers that I've picked up. Now these are, I have been wanting to pick up for quite some time and I always just kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off until finally I just decided I was going to add them to my collection. So the model number for this guy is 986201. Now these are a plastic um, insulated pair of pliers. So these are 1000 volt rated and they are plastic. And basically these are meant for working with wires um, where you might have to uh, work on something that is live or work in something that is live. Maybe you're changing out a part or something while the machine or whatever or the panel is live. That's kind of what these are for. So these are just the combination version um, of the pliers that Knipex has to offer. Now I did also pick up the like kind of the needle nose version of these. Um, decided to pick, go ahead and pick these up. Now the model number on this is 986202. So the only difference is a, a one and a two that differentiates the difference between these. Uh, and again, you know, fully insulated, you got the VDE or the insulated uh, colors, which is nice. Um, so there, those guys are. Now I probably will do a review on these here in the future. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have, go probably use them um, a little bit before I go ahead and make a video on them. I do kind of have some work that I um, kind of want to try these out on, see how they are. Um, I feel these would come in handy for when we're doing rooftop changeouts, and one, they either can't turn off the power to the rooftop for whatever reason, or two, they can't find um, the panel that is feeding a certain rooftop, so we have to kind of go in there and um, take the disconnect off while the disconnect still has power going into the top of it. I feel like this would come in handy. Um, if you know for moving those bottom wires around just in case something was wrong with that disconnect instead of sticking your bare hands in there uh, and getting shocked kind of why I decided to pick these up um, so that is the pretty much the insulated pair of plastic pliers uh, from Knipex that I picked up and now last but not least I also picked up the 9518 225 now if you're unfamiliar with that model number these are the new step cut XL pliers from Knipex um, it's basically an upgraded version of their their standard step cut. Um, these are, I believe, these are nine inches long, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's a, a relatively large plier. These are, like, uh, you know, they're, they're fairly nice. Um, and of course, being me, um, I did pick up the insulated version of these. Um, they do have, I believe, a standard dip version, and then I also believe they came out with a newer. Um, comfort grip version, or I believe it's a multi-component grip version. Um, it has little tags and stuff you can insert onto the handles for identification purposes uh, and to make a tether off on there. Um, so those are the other th two variations of these. Three variations so far of these have come out. Um, and like I said, I've uh, once I saw these came out, finally decided to just go ahead and pick them up. Um, and uh, I have to say so far getting them out of the packaging, you know, they are nice and loose, which is great. And it also looks like it features that T25 um, bit right there. So if you wanted to loosen or tighten the pliers up, you could um, insert it right there. So that is a nice little feature that they decided to add um, or decided to include in these pliers. Um, but with that being said, that's kind of about it for this unboxing. Um, like I said, picked up a quite a few or just a few uh, different Kinepex tools. And then I did, like I said, picked up these uh, client lasers that you see there in the background. Now, um, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to make a video on these. I I'm most likely going to make a video on these lasers. Um, it's just going to take some time. I don't use lasers on a daily basis at work. Um, but I do use, uh, I've been using, you know, my partners or we've been using his um every now and then um so it'll be interesting to see how these compare to the ones that he has um and like i said i'm gonna try my best to get a video out on these and as for this stuff down here 
um, most likely going to be having some videos come out on these in the next coming weeks. Um, but with that being said, that's all I have for this unboxing. So if you enjoyed what this unboxing and you're new to the channel please feel free to hit that subscribe button um and as always thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded